Good afternoon from wherever you're watching in the world. Thank you for joining me. My name is Coach Adam and I run a company in Los Angeles called Soccer Roots. But of course, with the amazing thing called the internet, here you are watching me. Today's video is about how can we give you three tips that are going to make you improve as a midfielder. We're talking primarily about the central midfield position, but these things are very useful to any position on the field. So please enjoy. Number one, if you want to improve as a midfielder, you have to have fantastic awareness. If you want to receive the ball in a pocket of space where there's tons of people around you, such as the centre of the midfield, you have to constantly be looking to find the danger and then to move away from it into space. Then you can receive the ball when it buys you that time to keep the ball positively moving forward or to retain possession for your team. So number one is be really aware of the field. How can we do that with our body shape though? We can open up. Now, if you watch TV and you watch soccer a lot or you watch it live or you just play a lot, you know that you have to have an open body stance to receive the ball. If you're completely flat, you of course don't know who's right behind you. And if you're facing the other way, then you can't receive the ball from your own team. So having a half stance is a really good way to open up your body. If the ball is this way, of course you're facing this way. If the ball is there, simply reverse your body shape and then you're always looking around you. So there's the first all-encompassing thing that you can do. Have a good awareness of the field and just open up your body. Number two, I really want, and it's, a, it's not an easy thing this, but you have to be able to receive the ball and play out with two feet. It's just the reality. If you're predictable and you're always receiving the ball onto your right foot with the same exact motion, you're gonna get figured out. Then they're gonna press you and we're gonna learn into transitions and turnovers more and more with you losing retention of the ball. That happens, suddenly you're not playing centre midfield and you're sitting on the bench. So can we receive the ball with two feet? Can we pass with two feet? Super important. How can we improve at that? Well, you practice with your teammates, but if you don't have any friends, find a brick wall. Find a brick wall. 100 passes on with your right foot, receive to right foot. 100 passes with your left foot, receive to left foot. 100 passes from right foot to left foot. 100 passes from left foot to right foot. Two touch, now one touch, repeat. That's a lot. But the variations of the ball going onto the wall and coming off at multiple different angles and different speeds are simply gonna reenact the way that you receive the ball under pressure in the middle of the park. So please go and practice that. It's very important and never stop practicing that to the day you hang your boots up. I'm still doing it and I'm ancient now. So that's number two, two feet and practice, practice, practice at receiving the ball. Your first touch is everything under pressure. And the third one, which is something that I feel gets lost a lot actually, is break the lines. We get caught up in teams who are obsessed with possession a lot and they want to ping the ball around a lot of times. Think Spain um, with the tick attacker generation. That's cool. That's totally cool. But the game has moved in, uh, on now and we're into how high can we win the ball up the field and cause uh, quick transitions in the final third of the other team. So breaking the lines simply means can we take the ball from you know the defensive section, the midfield section and the forward section? Who's the person that's going to take the ball through those effective zones if you want to break it down into sections of the field? How do we get better at that? Dribbling. We have to be bold on the ball and learn how to dribble the ball out into new areas of the field. Again, the key word there is space. You're not going to dribble into danger. So everything peels back to when you learn as a child or as a teenager or whenever your fundamental foundational skills are being developed. Can we take the ball into space aggressively, draw somebody from the other team into an area of the field that they don't want to be in and then give the ball or take them on in a one-on-one -on -one situation, okay? So those are my quick three tips to improve you. I talk fast because I love the game and I have so much passion. So sorry, go watch the video again or pause me and listen to those tips, okay? So we've got um, breaking the lines, which I personally love. I love to take the ball out of midfield into the forward line area. They come across, bang, now I feed my number nine. Okay, or the number nine makes a run for me, creates more space, and now I'm in on goal, okay? So break the lines, open up our body shape and be aware of the field. That's number two. 
and of course practicing with two feet to receive the ball and to pass the ball more efficient in dangerous areas of the field to prevent turnovers and to prevent quick transitions on us. So hopefully that helped you. If it did, please give me a like. It's the only way that the algorithms of YouTube can process me to a higher level to affect more budding players. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. I love writing back. Um, as long as it's a cool comment, let's face it, there's some funny people in the world. So thank you for watching. Go practice. Coach Adam, SoccerRoots.com. Have a great day.